Hey guys, it's Carl Brown for GuitarLessons365.com. Today we've got one that's going to put you into a good mood. We're going to learn how to play Magic Carpet Ride by Steppenwolf. Uh, so this was a really great rhythm guitar workout for that main riff that I just played there. Uh, but we're going to take a look at a couple other parts as well too. They're, they're, um, I guess there's some good rhythm work there too as well. So now we're in standard tuning here and the song does start with some kind of a uh, kind of random organ effects and a guitar that just kind of starts doing this. It kind of comes in there with just like straight eighth notes there. So uh, kind of an overdrive sound as well before this main riff kicks in. Now I'm just using a basic clean tone here with the neck pickup on. Now let's look at the chords here. There's a couple different ways you can play these chords. Uh, they're just simple major chords, but they're, they are bar chords. If you have trouble with those, uh, you know, uh, you might need a little bit of practice here. So it starts with a D major bar chord up here. Now I play it with these three fingers, each finger playing a se separate string. So it's a bar of the fifth fret, then playing seven on the D, uh, G, and B strings. Now I'm just using individual fingers because that makes it easier to make this top note come out. Some people like kind of the punk rock style, which you kind of bar it and try to get that bar up over the high E string which inevitably is not going to be as clean because you're going to miss it a lot. Um, so I like to use just these three, three fingers and then just move it down two frets, same chord shape. And then we're going to come over to a full bar at the third fret for the G major chord. That's a full bar there, fourth fret on the G, fifth fret on the D and the A. So we have. All right. Now, Besides the chords, you need to be good at left hand muting for this. So you need to practice, if you're not good at that, playing the chord and then release the pressure there. You can see that I still keep the fingers on the strings that just release the pressure so the strings are no longer heard and the strings are muted. You need to do that everywhere. You need to get used to that because that's part of the rhythm here. Now another little tip I can tell you from when we're doing the strumming, what's a pretty aggressive strumming you don't want to hear this low E string while you're playing these chords. So what you want to do is let your first finger, as it's doing that bar, go past that fifth string and touch the bottom of the sixth string. It keeps it from, it makes it muted. So when you're strumming, even if you hit that string, it's not going to be heard. It's not going to vibrate. So, all right, so now here comes the right hand rhythm. Now for this type of stuff, or pretty much most strum style rhythms, you always want to just keep a consistent down up motion in, the, in your picking hand. So you want to start with that. Just kind of get that going. All right, so that's what you want to get used to. When you're seeing people strum, if you're not used to this type of thing, um, the strum pattern is always the same. It's down up, down up, down up. It's very consistent, it never stops. What makes it sound unique from song to song is whether they are missing the strings and which notes they also accent. So you'll see when I'm doing this strum, I'm not hitting the strings each time. It's, that's, that's what creates the rhythm itself. I still keep the momentum, the basic rhythm by down up, down up, down up, but I am missing some of the strings depending on the feel of the rhythm that I want. And I'm also accenting some of the hits. So with that in mind, if you can get used to this motion, consistent down up motion, then you can put it with these chords. So the best way I think to maybe do it is to be able to hear it and then follow along with this down up motion till you can feel it. So let's go real slow with this rhythm. Now, if you pay close attention, you can see which notes I'm hitting with accents on upstrokes, and sometimes I'm hitting downstrokes accented. So let's start with that first phrase. So you can see right there, I did a down, down. That's when I was, so I, I missed the upstrokes coming back. But you can see that I'm killing the strings every time. That's how you, you gotta really release the pressure each time, so really time it right. Then there's a mute. So when I come down here and then I hit this chord with the first upstroke, so I have this. 
All right, and then we go over to the G major chord, so that C was barely played, and then, so that's down, and I have a couple of strummed mutes there in between, down up, so I have this. So I have this. And then the second time through was slightly different. Now, it's slightly different only on the last chord. When you get to the last chord, you're gonna do quick down, up, down, up, muted, and then down, down. So we have this. So all together, both times through. Repeat. All right, so you wanna do that slow and then slowly speed it up. Look at my right hand, it's not stopping. All right, so that's obviously the main riff of the song. Now we have um, kind of a, uh, I guess a, a bridge, I guess you could call it, or a pre-chorus or whatever, section of the song that sounds like this. All right, so what's going on there? You're up at the 12th fret here on the D, and then the 10th fret on the G. You pick those two strings, and hammer on the 12th fret on the G. So you just have those two notes now. And then you strum that. And on the very last hit, let go back down to the 10th fret there on the G while you're still holding the D on the uh, D string. I mean the 12th fret on the D string. So we have this. I might hit the last two of uh, that 10th fret. So. you back to the main riff. All right, so later in the song, this happens again. Just four times. And then it goes to like the jam part, which is we take that same lick. Let's move it down now to the seventh fret. What you're gonna do is bar across the G, D, and A strings with your, um, your first finger. Low string, E string is going to be open, and then you're going to have the ninth fret here on the D. So strum those four bottom strings, and then hammer on that ninth fret, just like we did here, but you're holding the big chord with it. And then you go look, release that pinky again, come back to here. So we have this. You do that four times. And now you continue this riff without the stops. Straight down up feel. And that goes on for quite a while on the original recording, just a kind of extended jam session there. All right, and then it goes back to that main riff uh, that we've already covered. So I hope you guys get a good rhythm guitar work out of this. It's a, it's a really fun one. If you can play this uh, nice and tight with the proper muting, um, and the proper right hand technique. It'll really help you to play just about anything in that style. All right, I'll see you guys again soon for guitarlessons365.com. Bye-bye.